Hey, it's coffee time. Can we talk? Oh, that coffee's so good. You know, I have discovered recently that Amazon <clears throat> is like that person you went to school with that gets you in trouble all the time. You know the one I'm talking about. The one who said stuff like, come on, they won't even notice we're gone. The one who said stuff like, do you really think your daddy's going to look at the odometer on this vehicle? The one that said stuff like, come on, don't be a baby. You know the one. The one that kept you in trouble all the time. I have discovered this of recent, like after New Year, well actually it was New Year's Day, my mom had said something about a, a tree that looked like it already had snow on it, like a, I think they got it blocked. And uh, so I thought, well I'll look at them. So I looked on my phone and I found one. And Amazon convinced me that if I didn't buy it right then, that I'd never have one in my whole life. You know, you, it's a must. It's, It'll never be cheaper. It's wonderful. And I thought, so I hit the button and it was ordered in three seconds. Three seconds. What? The tree's good. I mean, it's not like a bad tree. But it was a impulse buy. Well, to top the cake, let me just tell you what happened the other day. So I'm strolling through Facebook and I see this post and a woman has a butter dish and it's sitting by the stove. And her comment is, do you leave your butter out on the counter? Well, no, we hadn't been. And um, everybody started posting. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, but not close to the stove. Yes, I put it here. I love it with my toast in the morning because it's soft. Um, it doesn't ruin. It Salted butter won't ruin on the countertop. And I thought, hmm, well, somebody put on there. Uh, I do it all the time. I put it in my butter bell. And uh, it keeps wonderfully. And I have soft butter for my toast every morning. And I'm like, your butter bell. Now, I'm from Oswego. We, I know what a cow bell is. I know what a doorbell is. I know what a goat bell is. But I never heard of a butter bell. Well, that got my curiosities up, so I just typed into regular intranet. What is a butter bell? Well, it popped up. Well, Amazon came up and had some pictures of look like little pots. So I switch on to Amazon, and I look, and they have all kinds of butter bells. Go figure. So I start reading about it, and it's a crock that you put your butter in and you put a little water in the bottom and you turn that upside down on it and it holds your butter. And uh, they had various colors and shades and Amazon was like, come on, get one. We got it in orange. You love orange. So long story short, I'd like to introduce you to my butter bell. Now, I have to say, just like that woman said, since I did purchase it, and I don't know why in the world I purchased it, to be honest, it was, I had it purchased before I even knew really for sure what it was. And my mother said, what is a butterbell? I said, I don't know. We'll find out Wednesday when it gets here. Because I had ordered it in less than a minute. Oh, a butterbell. That's orange. I gotta have it. Order. But I have to say this. I like it. Have you ever in the world seen to be? Who would have thunk it? Okay, now what you do with this little bell and this thing. It's a crock. It's supposed to be. I don't know. Uh, made out of crock so it holds the butter better. You soften your butter. So you get a stick of butter and you soften it. And then you take that butter. They make that look easier on TV when they turn. Take that butter and you stick it in your bale. And you mash it in there. Now I know this seems like a lot of trouble, but really it's not that bad. And um, after you get all your butter stuck in there, like this, over, around and around, just keep putting it in there. 
keep putting the butter. See? And once you get a hunky butter in your bail, of all things, butter bail. Who ever heard of such a crazy thing in my life? Um, but you put this in here and you smooth it all out. Now you see that didn't take too long, really. Actually, no time. I mean, it's softened already. But you put it in your butter bell. Now look at that. Butter in the bell. Now it'll hold. It'll, I like to keep the edges clean though, because it was just. We've used it probably a week, two weeks. Two weeks. I think it's the second time I filled it up. So after you get your butter in your bell, and, you, and it'll hold, it'll set up on the counter like that. So when you're using it, like a tea cut. It's all together. Then all you do, there's a fill line in there. You see it? And it says cool water. I always just put a little bit of, I'm just, the times I've done, I just put a little bit of bottled water. But I mean, it don't stay cold on the counter. You just put the water in there up to that fill line. And then, all you do is take your butter in your bell. <laughs> oh, and you stick it right in there. And it kind of goes under the surface with water. And you stick it on your counter. And just like that woman said, every morning you got soft butter for your toast. Now here's a negative side effect. When you have soft butter just sitting there on the counter, you tend to use it. It, it definitely has not reduced my butter intake. But it is nice to have that soft butter. So, Amazon did talk me into buying this. Actually, it forced me. I didn't even realize. I didn't even really realize I had ordered it until it said confirming your order. I thought, well, and then not only that, there was something else in the cart. Don't put stuff in that cart because there's something else in the cart, and I got another thing that I had looked at and put in the cart. Going to decide later. Decision made because my friend Amazon taught me into it. So, there's a butter bell demonstration. I'd never heard of it. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I was a proud owner of one. I heard about it, and then within, uh, within 90 seconds, one was on the way. So, I'm going to have to style famous on him because he's tricky. Very tricky. But uh, this is one time. Um, I'm glad that you taught me into it. Um, because it's soft butter is good and it don't get it don't it don't spoil, I don't guess. I mean I, there's nothing green or fuzzies growing on it. So I guess the butter bell keeps the green fuzzies away. See, that's free. If you know anything about these, I'm probably the last person in the world to hear of them. Because I'm not I don't hear about a lot of stuff. If it was something to do with coffee, I probably would have heard about it. <laughs> 